is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marban, Hennessy Sports. With me, I've got Lee Haskins, the new EBU champion. How are we doing, Lee? Yeah, very well, thank you. Good. First and foremost, congratulations on the great performance against the Mary. Can you talk me through the fight a little bit? Um, yeah, you know, I just um, I started off very well, fast, I think, you know, I took it straight to him um, for the first six rounds, and I've, yeah, it worked really well. I felt like it all went, it was all going to plan, to be fair, it's, it's, apart from when I got the cut. I mean, that is one cut and a half. How many stitches did it have? Um, seven, I think, yeah. yeah. It, looks a, it looks a lot worse than seven, doesn't it? It does, yeah, yeah, it so does. Maybe because where it is the placement of the cut. I keep looking, I've got to go and see my kids like this, so I don't like doing stuff like that. But, yeah. Obviously, know. when the referee stopped the fight uh, due to a clash of heads and then went to the scorecard, was you worried at any point that it, it could what? have been maybe classed as a punch? Do you know, I wasn't too sure what... Um, what really happens to be fair when you got caught I wasn't too sure what rules we were on I was in a in a bit of a world of my own kind of thing but um I got a little bit worried because obviously the blood was just coming out so fast but I just wanted to make it to the make it through the round so I can go back to my corner and get it fixed mm -hmm. I mean it's a fantastic performance for yourself I know you've held this title before yeah. so second time around does it have as much as much good feeling to win this belt again it does you know, to be able to say you know I was European champion once and now I've went and done it all again you know I think for me is it, it, a big thing I, I'm, I'm very proud of it myself um, you know I'm, I'm very proud of everything I've done so yeah to have it the second time is just the same as the first time to be fair mm -hmm. looking back on it obviously you beat Stewie Hall to win that belt he's yeah. then gone on to win a world title and, and fight for a world title a second time do you think you're, deser you're deserving of a shot at a world title, at world honours? Um, I think anybody that's won the titles that I've won sh um, should be due to the shot at least. Um, I think everybody else has been given a shot, like two of the, two of the fighters that I've beat, Jamie McDonald and Stuart Hall, mm -hmm. and I beat them fairly, would, would, um, fairly easy to, as well, to be honest. And um, I think I should at least just have the chance. Who would you rather fight then, if I said to you Comida or Caballero? Which one um, takes your personal interest? Or what do you think would be a bigger fight? Whoever's paying the most, I suppose. <laughs> that's a good answer. Yeah, that's where I'd, that's where I'd go. That's I don't really bother answer. me who I box at the bantamweight division. Mm -hmm. I just want to, um, I wouldn't mind just keeping active and, you know, like I said, just getting that one world title shot would be perfect for me. I mean, I know you spent a lot of time getting in with this route, getting into the position, but if you was offered a shot at super bantamweight, would that be something you'd consider? Um, like I said, I've been waiting around so long to get a world title and I, and I get to the point where I think maybe I won't get one you know it, it, if I'm just going to keep getting, being ducked and stuff like that so if I did get offered one at a higher weight I probably would take it you know mm -hmm. I mean when can we anticipate seeing you out you're going to defend this EBU title and then you'll be looking to make some kind of charge would that be right um, yeah I think so I think that'd be all down to Chris's um, that's Chris's job, so I let him deal with all that. Mm. Um, I just want to get out, get this hilt, this cut healed up, and get out as soon as possible, and just um, keep winning. Now, mm. I mean, you got me into trouble last couple of days. I've had loads of people tweeting me asking me where your interviews are. Yeah. I've come to your room a couple of times. I've tried to hide out and wait for you to put places. <laughs> yeah. I have. I have been looking for him. I've been looking for Mick as well. <laughs> been looking for Mick quite a lot, probably. Up, up with Lee. <laughs> <laughs> we we were, we were, we was out last night, so we were sleeping all day today. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Uh, they don't take very much chances with you. They keep you locked away. Before yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, they, they do now because um, I used to be a little bit of a menace and yeah, that Playboy reputation coming back out. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't I can't use that name anymore. Mrs. will let me. What's your new moniker then? Have you thought of a new one? Um, name. No, I just figure I'm just gonna, I'm, you know, I'm getting older now. I'm just gonna keep it to the basics. Just, just keep it in yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, listen. You've said congratulations on a great performance for yourself. I know how much it means to you to recapture this EBU yeah, title, definitely. and uh, I think your team as well. Jamie and Chris are doing a great job. The Stanley Gars, and uh, keep doing what you're doing, and we'll see you again real soon. Thank you very much. Cheers.